years ago, I think it was the year before last, I attempted a no buy year and I have to say I found it very very difficult and by about the five months mark things happened that were unplanned for like we ended up going on an impromptu holiday we then needed things for our holiday so it became quite a realization to myself that doing a no buy year is a very very difficult thing and there are always things unless unless you are living a very stable lifestyle that crop up that you do need so i made it my pact that moving forward it probably wasn't a realistic thing to say that i would be able to do a no buy year ever again and i also thought that psychologically by saying you are not going to spend any money it almost can make you panic by things almost like an addiction even as a minimalist that this even though you didn't have a problem with shopping the second you say to yourself oh don't buy anything you're not allowed sometimes it can have the psychological effect of making you want to buy things so i think a more balanced approach is a low buy year but knowing where the boundary is in that for yourself of saying now if i say just low buy year am I going to allow myself to justify too many things? So I have this sort of balance that is between low buy and no buy, if that's possible. It's like low buy slash no buy, which means I am going to aim for a no buy, but I'm going to forgive myself if the odd thing crops up that I really do need. Now, obviously this title of this video is probably I spent nothing and that is actually true because I managed to go three months without spending anything on this low buy year and even just doing the three months before something cropped up that I absolutely felt I needed it taught me some things now obviously we're not talking about food and you know absolute essentials and obviously we're always spending like I mentioned in the last video things on rent and utilities and running a car if we have a vehicle that goes without saying that's a given but what I learned from three months of spending absolutely nothing on extraneous things was an interesting thing about consumerism the consumerist cycle and what actually happens once we stop spending money for instance all of a sudden i had all this extra time on my hands now this seems ridiculous because you think surely even as a minimalist i didn't spend that much time buying things but what i realized was especially because we live in an area where there aren't many normal shops they're all sort of tourist shops as you can probably hear from the seagulls in the background we live by the coast a lot of the things that i bought when i did buy things let's just say it was one item a month that i felt was for our household or that we needed or whatever the problem by buying blind online is a lot of stuff comes and it is wrong it's not what it looked like and i spent you know at least one or two days a month sort of looking and researching a sustainable thing online to get for that purpose of whatever it was that I thought I needed and then ordering it and it being wrong in some way or not as described and then having to spend time sending it back and then waiting for my refund and then having to do the, the whole thing again looking for a replacement and all of a sudden I started feeling like I had this extra time on an afternoon to do a little bit of reading, do a little bit extra exercise, do some other kind of leisure pursuit. So through spending nothing, my time and my life actually became a little bit more fruitful. I started to be able to do some of the things that before I didn't have time to do. Those little extra one or two minute jobs around the home got done you know the filling of the holes in the wall where you previously had a mirror the rehanging of curtains that have annoyed you because they're not quite at the right height 
I all of a sudden had these little bits of extra time to do these things. So if I'm even saying this as a minimalist, can you imagine, based on how much most people do do online shopping or even shopping in person, where you're physically going and driving back to the shop to return things, having it cost you more money in petrol to go back to the shop? How much time is actually wasted through consumerism? Not to mention, actually, the time you have spent working for that money just to buy that thing. So really, by spending nothing, you're saving your time it costs you to work for that thing, to buy it, obviously depending on how much you get, your salary, your average hourly wage, but also you're saving the time on the things sometimes not quite being right and us having to return them. And if we are somebody that doesn't return things, then the space it is taking up in your home that at some point you might have to spend time decluttering, taking to a charity shop, recycling or a recycling bank if it's clothing. So you really do save time by spending nothing. Are we all ready for today's water challenge? Guess in the comments how long it is going to take me to drink this. Now, this has been Short But Sweet again today, and we've got lots more coming up throughout these 31 days. See you all in the next one. Bye.